Hey, what's up guys? My name is the number one Pred, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a new DLC chem strike. Today you guys will be watching a sub zero chem strike. And this is the snowy map that people have anticipated on um Call of Duty Ghost DLC 4 called a Nemesis. And um this is my third chem strike on like a no, this is my fourth chem strike on a DLC, but my third um, uh, chem strike on a different map. All I have left to do is Gold Rush, which is the map I dislike, ironically. So um, I'm gonna, you know, put a bit of work in to try and get that for you guys. Hopefully tomorrow, or if not later on this week. Um, this chem strike wasn't the fastest. Um, it was underneath four minutes. It was like three minutes fifty something. So as long as it was still um, under four minutes, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, for the reason why it was pretty slow is because it was on TDM and as you guys know TDM is normally played out more slow paced than other game modes They're like kill confirmed and that because there's like once you kill a guy you don't feel you don't have the need to you know rush and get their tag so um, it pretty much plays out less uh, less fast paced than uh, kill confirmed which is where I've got my faster chem strikes on the other maps as you guys have seen already um, if you guys haven't seen already I'll leave the links to the different maps in the description down below and um, just a quick tip of to how to play this map, all you have to do is just literally stay in this building. Um, this takes up a lot of the map, um, it takes up like one half and it's actually quite a significant you know, choke point area because it's like a little hallway that's to the left of me that I just shot the guy running out of. That's really normally like um, as I was busy should I say, it's populated um, often, a lot of people seem to go up those stairs and then keep going through the hallway because it might be, a, there's like a little wind, not window, there's like an area where you can jump outside which is popular in the map and you can open and close this door, I was really really annoyed because I died in like a 23 um, too off because I wasn't using hardline um, earlier and um, it's just, this map wasn't working well for me but I really really do like it um, I don't know why. I'm never, I'm never normally a fan of like snowy maps, other than like Summit from Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 1. Sorry, um, that's the only snowy map I've really actually liked, and Sub Base on W2 as well. Although I didn't really play it that much. So um, yeah, so this is basically it for the gameplay. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick review of the DLC as a whole, and whether you guys should buy it because I know there's a lot of people. Actually, who are on my friends list on Xbox who actually have been asking me on my review on uh, the new DLC maps and um, my review, I think um, I think it's good overall. It's I think it's the second best. I personally preferred the one, uh, the previous one that had Favela and uh, the pirate ship map. I like that map pack better for some reason. Um, just don't know why. It's just how it is. Um, this one's pretty solid. Um, Showtime isn't as great as I think it could have been. Um, in my opinion, but um, it's still a good map nonetheless. And for those who are wondering whether they should buy it or not, I think yeah, why not? Why not? It's it's the last map pack, the last map packing map packing Ghost. There's been a lot of positive reviews about it, other than me, um, and it actually gives like a sort of a new feel to Ghost because it's a lot more fast-paced action. You get a lot more a lot more kills in a game like of TDM and Kill Confirmed. I'm not too sure about Domination because I haven't really played that. Because there are a lot of people, you know, who have like clan wars operations to go for. We've been playing it, and you know, I don't want to get involved in all that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting gameplays. So um, that's why I stuck to TDM and kill confirmed, which does slow down the pace a little bit, but uh, it's still enjoyable for me. So if you guys um, are thinking of getting it, I just say, I, my opinion is just why not? Why not go for it? It's a really, really good map pack overall. Um, I quite enjoy playing it. I mean, it's kept me playing it for a while. And um, it's actually probably going to be the first map pack that I haven't deleted. So um, that's basically it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to drop a like if you did, uh, if you haven't already. And subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.